So. Apparently not. Nope. Open door for now. <laughs> it's just weird. Oh, hello. Oh, guess where I'm gonna get lost. There's no look button or anything, is there? Yeah, well, you gotta see everything for yourself, I guess. Which, you know, it's fair enough. It's fair enough. There's nothing on the benches. Nope. Oh, uh, seriously, this place is huge. I'll just uh, explore the outside first, I guess. I mean... What's this do? Lights? I'm not sure if that was a good thing, but it was a thing. And there's another. Well, okay, at least we know that you can place something there and pull the, s the lever and you'll get inside, I guess. Alright. Next path. What is all this? Seriously. Follow the land. But... It's kind of weird having an adventure game where you can't just ask the character to say what something is or comment on it or anything. It's kind of unusual for me at this point, but uh... Well, oh well. Is there anything I can interact with? I can switch screen. Alright. So, train station. They have their own personal train station. Hmm, can we go in there? Not sure why we would. No need to go down. Oh, Alright, can we go up here then? I was gonna say, don't you dare tell me you don't. you don't wanna go. Holy crap, this place is big. You know what? No, not yet. No, I'm just gonna go to that front door because I'm gonna get lost in here without a reason to be here. I mean, they have their own... I mean, this isn't... This is... This is not public property, is it? Or maybe it is, but... Alright. This was the one. So we've still not seen the one over to the right, but... Eh. This seems like the main one. Orlberg, yes. Man. <laughs> For some reason I thought it kicked in a, uh, a cutscene, but no. There's a weird disconnection here between, you know, Kate and all this. This all looks really sharp. And there's... Can I go up there or something? Or... What is it that I'm clicking on here? Ah! Okay. Different screen. Oh, I can... Yeah. I'm gonna have to make something here or something. <laughs> God, this... There's a lot of places, or, you know, screens, I guess. 
the uh, music? Why? Why did you doesn't do that? Look like that work. Doesn't it just doesn't work? Okay. Is there? Hmm. Well, that won't do anything now. What up? Okay. No. Okay. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So now this has power. So. Well, I guess we activated whatever that activated, so... Uh, I wonder if we can get another one of those things and make it crash into I it. don't need to do that Alright. <laughs> nope, can't pull those. So what did those activate, then? I'm guessing there's another switch or lever or something to activate all these uh, things, but I'm really struggling how to call this stuff, to be honest. It's not every day that I find myself in such a factory and having to, uh, you know, <laughs> say something in English. Or hell, even Dutch, for that matter. <laughs> up I guess. Oh, until I have gone in that door. For some reason I thought when I clicked there I would just uh, go down again, but no, this seems like uh, the right place. Oh boy. Doesn't look like that works. Okay. <laughs> um. Random color generator. I well, why is that one on? What doesn't look like that works. Doesn't look like that. I don't get this thing. <laughs> Uh, is there not a manual around? How about that? A manual would be helpful. <laughs> uh, we can't go up there. Well, let's go down into that office, I'm guessing. Or maybe we can find some documentation for that thing. Hell, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't even know. Okay, interesting. Clock seems important. <laughs> Wait, there was... There was something... I'm sure it changed the icon there. Sure it did. Nope. Apparently not. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's something to do with that, but... A uh, pen, giant machine drawing, paper, drawers, which I can't do anything with. Oh, there we go. Manon Vorberg, Rue Grand, Fala de Len. Which is actually his... Wait, what? Barotin Blanchard Solicitors. Association of Bailiffs. Rue de Cadron. Okay. Uh, recovery of outstanding payments. Right, that's that. That was mentioned. Madame, you have received several warnings from my office concerning penalty charges incurred on unpaid invoices from the company La Colombe. Uh, the total debt for... 
uh, the total debt for which you are responsible currently stands at 47,000 fr francs. Uh, I have no clue how much that would actually be in euros at this point. No clue whatsoever, so I have no idea. Well, it's probably a lot. Let's let's put it like that. Uh, I strongly advise you to acquit yourself of this debt by sending the necessary funds to our payment center. In the absence of such a response on your part, I will be obliged to undertake legal proceedings against you to recover the outstanding funds. Okay. Can I... No? Uh, I know that such a decision cannot be taken easily. You can truly hold your head up high, my dear Anna, and be proud of your achievement throughout the years. My deepest apologies for bearing such unpleasant news, and I remain at your entire disposal, should you need me. Gustave Passerini. Passeri. Okay, another letter. From Fontenay Carpentry. Madame, despite numerous follow-up letters on our part, yeah, okay. Alright. Ah, that's what we want. The Passeri. Well, no. Well, yeah, that would be from him, right? That would be Hans, I think. Uh, dear Anna, I find myself under the obligation to undertake certain procedures against your company. A situation I find pr particularly painful given the special relationship our bank has enjoyed with your company over the years. You yourself admit that, for some time, Vorarlberg Manufacturing has become a financial liability and due to shareholder and partnership pressure, I am no longer able to underwrite your debt with the bank. Uh, I am sorry to say that we are obliged to comply with the economic imperatives of the era. It is for this reason that I beg you to accept the American's investor's proposal. Such a takeover comes at a fortuitous moment, as it is the only way to swell your accounts and settle your debts. It will also enable Vorlberg manufacturing to stay afloat, streamline production, and modernize production techniques. You will thus be able to keep the Vorlberg name alive, one that is in in its day was a guarantee of quality and so far fair. Please believe me, Anna, when I say that I offer this advice not just as a banker, but also as an old friend who desires nothing but good for you. All right, so old friends, uh, people knew oh my that. Gosh, invoices, invoices, more invoices. I never knew the factory was in such a bad way financially. These last two years must have been very hard for Anna Vorlberg. Indeed. Oh, she didn't actually take those? Guess not. So really, was that all we came here for then? That seems weird. Still, there's still the puzzle over there at the control panel, but fuck knows. I don't know. Sure there's some uh, some easy way to solve it, but uh, yeah, I mean, three was active, which would be there, I guess, but or would be here, actually. Shouldn't this be active? Something is making sounds, but mm. no, nope. it's nothing here. Nothing. What's up with the screens? Just and there's nothing there. There's no activation on, on these, is there? Well, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm just gonna leave now. Got the info on the invoices, which uh, I guess was what we came here for initially, but... 
I still have the feeling I'm missing.